We begin a new series this week on questions. We're particularly going to look at the questions that are asked of Jesus. Sometimes these questions are very aggressive and very in your face. And sometimes there's a general, genuine need for this, this issue. This question is bothering me and I would love to hear your opinion. Find out what you think about it. But the question I want us to um, look at today is a question that the disciples ask. Um, and the disciples' questions are usually um, more immediate, um, more about a particular need that they're having right in that moment. And the question I thought we would use today is from chapter 4 in the Gospel of Mark. Teacher, don't you care that we are perishing? I want us to use that to focus our prayer today. So I invite you to take a deep breath. Let that breath settle in all the way to the base. Breathe in and out. Don't you care that we are perishing? Don't you care? Jesus, we come before you today when we see those images of the hurricane that came through last week, creating devastation, wiping away towns. As we watch the news today, as a new hurricane is threatening Florida, we ask the question, don't you care? We ask that question to bring your attention to us, to bring to your attention to that space bring your attention so that you can surround those who are in need in the hurricane areas. May you help them find safety. May you help those who are providing services be able to meet the needs of the people before them. May your love and strength be with them, surround them, and comfort them. And may your, may you nudge those who need to be nudged to make a difference in the lives impacted. Don't you care that we are perishing? We think of the forest fire raging in Bolivia. The forest fires that keep popping up and are still burning. In all those places where fire is because everything is so dry. We ask, don't you care? But sometimes that question is to us, don't we care? When the news drops off the screen, we forget. When the answer is we need to change our way of life, we forget. So God, help us to care, to be aware. And may you be present with those in the midst of the fires. Don't you care that we are perishing? We hear the news out of Ukraine where 
the lines. The lines that mark one side from the other are changing and people are having to flee towns in Ukraine. God, bring them to safety. And make possible a way of peace that brings dignity and freedom to the people of Ukraine. Don't you care that we are perishing? Holy One, my heart breaks every time I open my Twitter feed and see the death and destruction in Gaza. Today, snipers fine on people that the government told to flee because there would be airstrikes. God, that's not right. Don't you care that we are perishing? Don't you care? I particularly want to ask that question to our politicians here in the U.S. What does it mean to care? To care for those lives that are being needlessly shot down. Shot down when they're doing what they're told to do. I want you to ask our politicians, don't you care? And if you care, what will you do about it? Don't you care that we are perishing? I'm sure there are so many stories that we don't know about. Places and people that need your attention. But we only hear certain stories. We only see certain news. To those places where your people are crying out for care, be present with them. Bring the witnesses, those who can see and care into those places. Holy One, we ask your presence today in those places where it feels like we are perishing. Amen.